Hello everyone, welcome to Among Solutions and another video in the web development playlist. Now today I am going to tell you about what is HTML. Let's get started. Open first, um, go to your like file explorer and uh, some like create a folder. Okay, now I am going to create a folder here like Among Web. Okay, now. Now uh, today I am going to tell you about what is HTML right so now open sublime okay uh, yes so I open my folder you can open the folder also like uh, file open folder and uh, you can select the folder which you want to open okay now automatically the folder will be open right okay okay now what is meant by HTML like for example html means hypertext markup language okay html is a tag based language so it is not a programming language okay so everyone feels that html is also programming language but it's wrong so html is a tag based language everything is written in the form of tags okay see basic like a starting to end also like html closing html tag like for example if you want any image tag img a anything for example if you want a video like video tag so every tag which you have open you need to close uh, there are some tags with uh, they they are not need to be closed like image tag they it is not necessary you can close it in the format so uh, okay now um, like in the HTML uh, before discussing about uh, what each tag each and tag and its importance now I want to tell you about what is a what is HTML and the document like how HTML code need to be written in the form in the browser okay now like see for example I am going to remove this and I am going to um, like save my file right control s and in the for in the in this folder only i want to save like among web like i want to save my folder name as like first dot htm all html you can use both dot htm or dot html extensions to save to save your website files okay and both can be like both can be recognized by the browser so when you save it as a dot html file see what it happens see you can see here automatically the image got changed to the chrome like since my uh, local since my laptop has the browser a uh, default browser as google chrome so it got changed to google chrome for example if you have under browser it will be changed to some the browser icon okay so this represents that this is our first website okay uh, see for example if i am opening this see nothing is displayed here right so okay now uh, I am going to write my first code. See, remember, uh, write a key plus ten, like type plus ten, and just enter, just type h. Automatically, the tags will be displayed here. So, um, click on enter. Okay. See, some code has been already given by the sublime to ourselves. So, since um, these tags are the default tags for any HTML document, so that's the reason. Sublime gave us gave these tags default for us. Okay, now I am going to explain about each and everything line which the Sublime has given us. See, doc type HTML means this represents it is the HTML5 version. As I said you in the earlier video, like we'll be having some uh, different versions, different versions in the HTML like HTML1, HTML2, and the latest version of HTML is HTML5.0. Okay. so every website which we are seeing in the in the internet is written in html5 version so um, almost every new web, web developer are writing in the code in the html5 version only so doctor html means we are telling the browser that we will be writing the whole html code in the form of html5 version okay we will be telling uh, like we will be indicating the browser so browser will uh, like recognize some tags okay uh, look okay now as I said before HTML it is the whole a uh, whole document like this is the whole what you have written in this will represent like will be replicated into your website like in the Chrome browser 
okay so um the basic functionality is for example if you have confusion like whether i close the tag or not so you can click on it and uh, you will be seen like the dotted line and the end of the tag it represents that the tag has been successfully closed so this forward slash represents the tag is the closing tag this is the closing tag and this is the starting tag okay similarly for any tag also head tag see head tag is also closed title tag is also closed body tag is also closed okay now uh, you will be thinking that what is this head tag and what is this title tag and what is this body tag right uh, okay now i'm going to discuss what are this uh, let me open my paint okay see um now i'm going to describe what the what it means see i will be opening this rectangle right so this rectangle uh, remember this is the whole okay this rectangle represents the bro browser okay now the browser is divided into two parts uh see one part is see one part is a head head tag like head head of the browser okay this is the head of the browser and this is the body of the browser okay uh now if you write anything in this head tag like um like what i am going to show like uh this there is a title tag here see what does the title tag means see here it is showing like first dot html since we have given not anything in the title tag it is showing the default file name okay but i want to give my name like i want to give my website name for example if you open any website some name will be displayed right so if i want to give the name uh, like my title so i will be giving the so that is in the head tag so in the head tag if you write any uh, anything i have in the head tag it will not be shown in the body like this is the body and this is the head tag so if you write anything in the head tag it will not be shown in this body okay so uh, so the title tag is nothing but sorry the title tag is nothing but the title of the page for example if you write among solutions okay and see as you have seen the dotted symbol is there for example if i control s so automatically the file gets changed and the accessibility here is for example if you want to run this document you don't need to go to the file directory and uh, double click on it you can you can right click here okay now you will be seeing an option open in browser now click on it see uh, i think you have seen here like it's the among solution the title which i have given in the code so it is displayed here okay and it's the file where we have loaded from the page now the next thing is um we have like if you see any website there will be icon like for example among solutions has its own logo and some websites have its own logo like for example if i want to keep my own logo here you need to do one thing first of all this is my folder right i want to create a new folder like images so what does this images folder do is uh in a website any like in a website whole website is stored in a particular folder okay uh, so in that terms also since we are developing our own website we need to create a master folder like among web and in the ma in the master folder we will be having all the html files and all the php css files etc but all the images which we are going to use in our website need to be stored in image folder uh, it's a best approach okay now i am going to bring my image like uh, bring my logo any logo you can bring it's your wish now i'm going to logo any any image you can keep it's your wish okay now i'm going to copy this and i am going to paste it in my folder the images folder itself okay images folder and rename uh, it's your wish for example logo and enter see if you paste it here automatically it will be showing it here like Ah, okay sorry i didn't open it in the form of folder open folder see i think uh, you will be seen here images so images folder is there so you can check it here also logo.png and first.html okay now i'm going to show you that like as i said before if i add emails it will not be uh, displayed here in the body of the tag now i'm going to write the code like uh remember keep less than type less than and um just i'll just entering the first letter will be displayed all the tags 
like for example link tag so it will be writing all the code for us so you we don't need to remember all the parameters right so okay now i'm going to explain this rel rel means relative like style sheet so it is telling that style sheet so this link tag is usually used for the css for example if you use the link tag uh, css tag we will be using this style sheet uh, so uh, we are not including any of that so i'll be removing the style sheet and i'll be typing as like icon icon okay so it represents the browser that we will be loading an icon here and type type text by text slash css is also not necessary it is only for css i will be telling you when i am going to deal with css href see this is the most important thing uh, many students fall uh, like fail in this category like uh, they will be telling that images are not being loaded in my browser even the path is also correct so the problem is uh, for example um, i have my logo in this folder right so in, see for example um, i have in another folder like i need to paste the copy for example this is the part here but i don't need to do in that thing like for example i need to type as dot slash images slash logo dot png see why i have given like this is dot represents the same directory for example i am working in the umang web directory right so the images folder is also there in the umang web directory so that's the reason i have given dot so what the browser thinks that um like it will be searching the images folder in the same directory that is umang web directory so images folder is found okay then uh, i'll be giving this logo.png and entering here it will be going this logo.png so it got found automatically image gets loaded so if you do any mistakes in this for example if you don't keep a uh, dot here so the file path will not be found so automatically image not get loaded it will be not shown error also remember in html no errors will be found like uh, like in a c uh, if you compile the program it will be sh uh, showing you errors right for uh, in web it will not you show you any errors okay now i am going to save my page control s and again you can do one thing you can click on open browser or else do one thing uh, as our site is already open here i will be clicking on refresh reload button or else you can uh, fi click fi also see uh, i think you have seen like because of my file like image so that's the so it is showing small so if the logo is big uh, so it will be showing it good also okay uh, see i think you can see the image got loaded here so that's um like um, so this is the way every image like every website has its own logo on the top of the browser so that's all about the head tag i think you'll you are familiar with the head tag so we can write any tag here okay in the meanwhile in this future playlist we will be showing you more videos in the body tag okay and body tag so every tag has its own parameters like for example body has its uh, parameters like bg color or background see bg color represents the color of the background for example if i want to set the background color as black okay whole background will be black see i will be showing it to you for example bg color okay i am just entering and i will be typing as black see only black okay now um i am going to my browser and i am going to refresh see automatically whole color has been changed to black you can change any color here okay uh, if you are familiar with the hex codes like hey hash triple zero and go to there and again refresh hash triple zero is also black so that's the reason uh, for example if you want more colors then you can search it in w3 schools color picker okay uh, type double three color picker okay. if you want like more hex codes okay see you can select any color here for example um, i want this orange color right so this is the hex code see rgb rgb version hsl version hex saturation value rgb means red green blue okay for uh, this is the hex code right hex code is the six digit code uh, starting with hash for oh, hash double f double six double zero i want to use this color in my website like in the body tag so um i will be having the bg color parameter as like this i will be controlling like pasting it and controllers Okay, done now i am going to open my browser okay now i am going to click on refresh 
see automatically the browser like the background has been changed to this orange color so okay now um, like okay you can search the background color of the body in this format okay now i don't know i don't want this background color i want my image like i want my background image to be set in the background okay so uh, that's also provided in the body tag itself so i need to click on background so see and these tags are very really sem semantic like you can easily understand every uh, user can easily understand so there is no nothing need to like remember all the syntaxes like all the keywords um, you can just type and automatically the tag is getting uh, written automatically okay for example uh, background right so i want to keep my background as the image as this image see like uh, example this is the image right i want to keep it in the background now uh, same uh, like same as like before and uh, now i am going to open my folder and uh, in the images folder i am going to copy my image and that's all and you can rename it's for example if the name is big you need to type the whole name right so that's the reason um i will be typing this as android okay okay now I am going to open my sublime. See, automatically it got added here. You can check whether the image got added successfully or not. So background, as like the same before, you need to like dot slash images slash android dot uh, yeah png. Okay. So we will be telling that uh, please load the image in the background like this. Uh, only this image. I want to uh, load android dot png here. So automatically body tags knows that. I need to load this background in the background, like in the image. So um, I will be checking whether I have saved. So see, you, I didn't have changed. Okay, now I saved my file. Now I am clicking on refresh button. See, you can see here automatically our thumbnail, like our image, got added in the background. Uh, see, you can see here like uh, the image has been replicated. It is the reason because our image is not fit to the size, fit to the desktop window size, body size. So that's the reason it got replicated using css or some attributes you can change it also i uh, will be will i'll be doing uh, telling you about that in the future videos okay so uh, that's all about a body tag in the next video i'm going to tell you about the git installation like i mean not about the git installation like i will be telling you for example this is the first version right that means we have created our website and we have added the fab icon and we have set the background image in the next um and in the next we'll be adding i'll be showing you some head text okay now what i'm going to do is the version control uh okay stay tuned in the next video i'll be telling what is version control and how to use a git how to use a git repository okay that's all about the video thanks guys stay safe